Hi everyone, Ukrainian accent with you. And this is my second attempt at reviewing Ukrainian films and series. And maybe not only Ukrainian ones. So, let's the review begin. But, 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 before that, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And this time we are going to talk about Ukrainian action in Glorious Serfs by Roman Perfiliev. The story is set in an alternative reality in 1844. The alternative Taras Shevchenko... Oh, by the way, do you know who the real Taras Shevchenko was? Well, to put it in a nutshell, real Taras Shevchenko is one of the most famous Ukrainian artists, poets, writers and, and of course he was an amazing actor in Dr. House. Her grandmother is kind of sexy. That is Taras Shevchenko, the greatest Ukrainian poet. Moreover, this guy had a great sense of humor. This is his self-portrait. So, the alternative Taras Shevchenko is a serf and he's trying to run away from his master with his love Marichka. Unfortunately, their plan fails and Taras with Marichka have been caught. <laughs> Marichka is taken back to her master, however, Taras is sentenced to death. First time. In the captivity, Taras meets this guy. One more time, please. Okay, I'll Google it. Aha, uh -huh, Akai Nakamura, and he is the Japanese samurai of Ukrainian origin. But why did he arrive to Ukraine from Japan? Because he wants to get back the sword of his dead teacher. One Japanese opium dealer killed Akai's teacher took the sword and arrived in Ukraine to buy some exotic girls. So, Taras and Akaya are saved by one guy who's called... He offers them to fight against serfdom together. But Taras and Akaya refuses from the proposition due to the fact that Chuba's way of fighting is unfair. So that alternative Taras Shevchenko and Akaya decide to unite to get Akaya's revenge and save Marichka. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Japanese opium dealer arrives to Marichka's master Yaromir and presents him the sword. <laughs> The dealer sees Marichka and wants to buy her. Oh my god! Wow! But Yaromir puts very high price. The Japanese dealer agrees and gives to Yaromir his private army. Still, Taras and Akai have found out that the dealer has taken Marichka with him, so men chase after them. During their trip, alternative Taras Shevchenko is learning how to be a samurai. Finally, the main battle. Justice has been restored, Marichka has been saved, and the main characters' paths diverge. So, what can I say about Inglorious Serfs? It's a rather interesting experiment in a Ukrainian cinema, in Tarantino style with guns and ninjas. However, comparing to original Tarantino's films, this movie might seem a bit slower in action. The battle scenes are good, but at times they can look funny. Personally, I find it quite cute. <laughs> Nevertheless, Inglorious Serfs is a film worth watching, and it's a hidden treasure of Ukrainian expressions. I've prepared some of these phrases for you. But before that, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you'd like to support this project, 
you can donate on Buy Me A Coffee. Thank you for your watching and now Ukrainian phrases. Що ти мене гріб побив? Не будь шмаркачем, підводься.